Hello there, welcome to another video. This is Susanna from Social Creates. And not that long ago, one of my followers asked me to put a video together showing how to create a marketing t-shirt for their business using Canva. Something that is interesting is that you can create a t-shirt in Canva, which I'm going to show you how to do. And you can even order the t-shirt through Canva. They will even help you with the uh, transaction. So they have all set up for you to just create a purchase and then receive it at home. So let's get started with today's video. First, I'm going to use Google just to look for some inspiration and to show you how you can find ideas and it will help you with the uh, design. I'm going to click on images and as you can see, there's plenty of um, t-shirts in here that you can just go through and get one to help you, to help you create your t-shirt. Another place that helps you with ideas is also um, Etsy. Let's open Canva and you can all, you can, and you can either search in here t-shirt or you'll probably find it under these options in here so i'm going to click on t-shirts so here is here we have a blank canva and i already have that selected but i'm going to show you how to get these margins here just to help you with the design so you are going uh, to click on file click on view settings and you would click in here so right now it's already checked but you would check this to have the margins just to help you with the design so I'm going to um, click on text you can very well use these options in here but I'm going to show you how to create something very simple and from scratch so I'm going to click on text and I'm going to search something that catches my eye fonts that I really like or I like I would like to use all combined so I will scroll scroll down and I like this one I'm going to click on it and it's free I'm going to ungroup because it helps with the design and I already searched for some ideas previously so I'm going straight to the design. I'm going to type in here, I help people. We will work on the, the sizing in a moment. Find their in homes. I'm going to make this slightly bigger. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make this as big as possible in a way that I'm going to make this bigger just to show you. So I want the sides of this letter to sort of like match with the sides of this one. The same idea as, as the right side. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Perfect. So to help me with the design, what I'm going to do is I'm going to confirm, is this centered? Yes, it is. If I click in here, it brings to the left. If I click it again, it changes, but I want centered. Is this centered? It is centered, perfect. So that was to center the, the words, but I want to center the whole thing. I'm going to click in here, click on position and click on center, perfect. Click on the, the one in the middle, click on center the one on the bottom, click on center. So now we have this centered and I'm going to adjust a little bit in here. Perfect. So what I want to do now is I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to search house. Let's see what I find. I will show you what I'm looking for. House outline. I'm going to click on graphics, see all. And there's this one. I like it. I'm going to bring it to the top and I'm going to kind of like do the same thing. Try to match the sides with the design. Maybe slightly bigger. 
and again click on position centered as you bring it down to kind of like look like a house perfect and I want to get let's see house E perfect there's this one I would like to use I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to make the design bigger just to show you I think I want to hang the keys on this ladder and I want to make sure that it is behind the S and it is already selected backwards so that means that this element is behind the letter. Okay, I want to change this color and I want to use this and I think I want to change this, the color of the key as well. Perfect. So far so good, very simple and let's see how it looks you click on print t-shirts and you're going to click on this arrow here and oops we didn't change the color of the t-shirt no problem we are going to under color click on white and there you go how does it look it looks a little too small to me i would like that so much more in a way that people can read from far away so I'm going to select the whole thing and I'm gonna try to make this as big as possible and in a very helpful way I'm going to use these margin lines to guide me with the design perfect let's see how it looks looks nice I like it so what you can also do to me it looks good so far and what you can also do is if you add another page it will then represent the back so let's say for example I want to add a text and on this one is going to be something very simple but straight to the point for example um, home value and let's say that as an example let's say that you have a website home value dot com let's pretend this domain belongs to you you can also add a, um, a QR code in here or even like your phone number if that really makes sense for the design so as you can see I'm going to click on back so page 2 and now you can see home value it's, you, you can see at least you get an idea how big it is how small it is and go from there so you're going to click on close let's say that you are happy with everything that you see right now so you confirm all of these details front page back page it's for women or you can change these um, options in here it's the, the color of the t-shirt is white the size and you can purchase one two three or more and it will also show you the price of the t-shirt you have a little message in here you click on checkout you go through all of the options to to pay for the t-shirt and after that you'll probably receive an email confirmation with some details about your order i know this because recently i ordered a um, postcard it came to my house it looks amazing so this was good to show you how it is how easy it is to create a t-shirt and order it through canva i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions please leave those comments below make sure that you subscribe it helps our channel to grow and bring more content like this to you every single week and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you really enjoyed today's video I will see you next time. Bye-bye.